everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Brittany and if you just so happen to stumble across my channel I do focus on fashion beauty and lifestyle so if that seems like something that you may be interested in please think about clicking on that subscribe button also if you have already subscribed click on that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads so today's video is going to be a chatty video and just come watch me do my hair girl so I'm going to be doing my hair and I'm wearing a new unit today so if you are interested stick around for that also I'm going to be answering some of your questions that you left on YouTube and Instagram so let's get started okay guys so we are working with Wiggins hair today and I absolutely love their units and the quality of their hair you'll receive this nice bag I always store my units in these and you'll also get a satin scarf which is going to come in handy for tying down those edges and you'll see me using that you'll also get a wig cap this is too dark for me so I didn't use it and here is the unit you guys look at those waves gorgeous this is right out of the pack and as you can see the lace is nice and thin like I like it and the waves go all the way to the tip. So next up, I'm just going to prepare my wig. I always add a powder foundation um, just with a dense brush on the lace. And as you can see, this is a lot of lace. So we're going to have some nice parting space. Um, I think it's like 13 by 6. So you get 6 inches back of parting space. But this just helps for the um, lace to look a lot more natural and for it to look like scalp. Okay, so the first question is how do you maintain your natural hair? And as you guys can see, my hair is very thin. So usually I just wash my hair every two weeks. Um, I kind of massage my scalp and oil my scalp, moisturize my hair, and I braid them. I braid it up in like two small braids like this, or I may do four depending on the unit that I'm gonna wear, kind of loosely, um, and that just works the best for me. So the first thing I like to do is like to get the hair out of the way so that I can go ahead and adhere this down. As you can see, I've already taken um, the excess lace off and I like to take my lace um, all the way back to the hairline so I'm just gonna take this like flyaway tamer and throw it right around the edge and my units are always like big around my ears so I have to trim that but I like to wait um, just to see how it's going to look so let's see here so this is how it's looking but as you can see like it's super cute like this is gonna be nice um, but I'm gonna need to trim just a little bit here so I'm gonna go ahead and mark that take the sideburn that I want and all of this is gonna be cut off all this hair and I'm not gonna need it nor am I gonna miss it so I'm just quickly showing you guys how I trim around the ear it's super simple okay so here's how it's gonna look all right so let's go ahead and get into the next question next question is how old are you i am 31 years old about to be 32 in october so now i'm gonna go ahead and um kind of clean my hairline because i do have some makeup on so let's do that and i don't use alcohol i just find it to be really harsh on my skin i just use this um clear pore astringent from Neutrogena. I use this on my face, so it works well for me. And yeah, I just wanna clean around the hairline. And let's get another question in. How do you hide the hairline of the wigs? Okay, so for me, it's, um, it's really all about how you customize your hairline and also um, the fit of your unit. So for me, I like to, first of all, make sure that I kind of customize my hairline if need be. This actually did not need any plucking. I don't think I'll be able to tell once I get it down, but right now it looks pretty good around the edge. And also I add the makeup in there like I showed you guys um, because the makeup just helps the lace melt into your skin and it's also about the type of lace this is a very thin lace that's why you see it like kind of flipping up a little bit because it's super thin and that's the best lace to use. So yeah, it really just depends on the unit, but you do have to put in a little bit of work with your units, okay? So just so you know about that, because you a lot of units are not just put them on and go. You want to make sure that they look good on your head. You don't want it to look like a hair hat. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and prep and add my glue. I'm going to be using the got to be glue in this little yellow container. I'm almost out of this, so let's hope I have enough. So I'm 
just going to apply a thin layer of the got to be glue all around my edges um, this is just my preferred glue I do know that it's white but it tends to hold a lot better okay so we're gonna let this get a little bit tacky and answer a few more questions so next question is would you ever consider virtual styling and I do I actually offer styling services I've had like about seven clients for the past like three years that I continuously work with um, but if you want me to style you definitely feel free to hit me up um, via my email pockets and bows at yahoo.com and I'll be happy to help you. Next question is, is it worth shopping at Shein? So if you've been following me for a while, you guys know I shop at Shein like all the time. Um, I've recently, well not recently, but within the past couple of years I've partnered with them, but before I was wearing their clothes as well. And I will say over time, they have gotten so much better with sizing. Um, I can't say that I've had many issues with quality ever. I think that at the beginning, it was just more issues with the sizing. Everything ran super small, but they seem to have gotten the memo because I think a lot of people from the United States are shopping with them now. So um, the sizes seem to be fairly true to size. And if you're ever iffy about the sizing, um, you can definitely check out the measurements. Each item has the measurements listed underneath. So. So I would say it's worth shopping with them because I feel like they make like a lot of the same things as Zara, Topshop, um, even some designer brands and you know you can get them for a really low cost. So I like them. Okay we're getting a little bit tacky so now I'm going to add a second layer. Very thin though. And I like to focus a lot on the middle and on the sides here because that's where it tends to lift the most. Okay, next question is, have you ever considered having a tummy tuck? I hate the way my stomach hangs, so I really want to do it. Actually, yes, and I actually did like a video a couple years ago talking about like, should I do that? Because you guys know, um, I don't have any kids or anything, so I've always wanted to get a, well, I haven't always wanted to get a tummy tuck, but because I was larger and I lost weight, I have a lot of excess skin in my stomach area, and it's very noticeable in my clothing, um, but I've always thought like you should have children before a tummy tuck but I've done a ton of research and more people are actually coming out you know showing that they've had tummy tucks and things like that so um, I think that I am definitely considering it um, I won't need a full tummy tuck but definitely skin removal surgery and if you don't know the difference a full tummy tuck usually is when they tighten up your abdominal wall but because I have not you know bared any children um, I won't need that so definitely skin removal surgery and something done with these boobs because the way my back be hurting y'all okay it ain't worth it so yeah definitely thinking about that all right so now I'm gonna spray the edges with my got to be glued free spray you don't have to do all these steps a lot of the times I don't I just use the spray but because I feel like I'm gonna really like this unit, I'm gonna, I want it to kind of stay down for a few days. Okay, so I got that down. Now I just wanna line up the unit. Let's see, that's as far down I think as I want that to go. Okay, so I'm gonna start blowing it dry. So I sped this part up a ton, but just make sure that you are taking your time when you're laying that um, lace down. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. As you can see, it's getting a little bit white here, but that's fine. I'll fix it later. Let's go to another question. What are you listening to nowadays? Do you have a specific playlist you get ready with? Um, not really. Honestly, I'm not a huge music person. I mean, I love music, don't get me wrong. but. I love silence more. So I tend to only listen to music um, when I'm either cleaning up or driving in the car. I love music when I'm in the car. I know when I was younger, I used to like get like a brand new Beyonce CD or something and I would not listen to it until I was in the car. Like it was that serious. So um, yeah, I love like a lot of different people. I like Ari Lennox. Um, I'm loving, of course, Meg The Stallion right now. I am loving Baby. That's my jam, y'all. Um, what else am I liking right now? Uh, always 90s r and I'm an R&B girl, okay? Love that. Have not listened to Drake's new album, but I need to. 
So next question is, how do you store your bundles if you're going to wash and reinstall them? Y'all, I haven't worn bundles in so long. You guys know I usually make wigs because it's just easier. I don't do the whole sew-in thing anymore. It takes up way too much time. However, um, I store my hair, all my hair, in satin bags. And usually the companies that um, you buy your units from or your bundles from will send you satin bags. So I just save those um some of them they send you plastic bags i save those too and i put them in clear containers under my bathroom sink okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get the sides down now you always need to reinforce those sides because let me tell you something these things lift up so bad and it's hot outside <laughs> Y'all, can we just take a moment of silence for like the scalp itch? This is amazing. I'm loving this. And don't worry, I'm going to clean up everything. So let's do this side now. See, it's still tacky. So I'm going to go ahead and spray it one more again. And do this side. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. I had to <laughs> change tank tops because the other one was doing too much. Let's get into the next question. Um, it says, hey girl, do you recommend any hair companies that you know have good bundles? And yes, Wiggins, the company that I'm working with right now on this unit, they have really good bundles. Um, again, I've made mine into units, so I don't like have to, you know, reuse them like that but they have really good hair i love their hair also um beauty forever is another one that i could recommend so right now i'm just cleaning everything up with a q-tip and you are going to get some lifting um because this is like an alcohol base product and that's fine we'll just fix it so i just want to make sure i don't have any white residue and let me comb through these sideburns. I don't want them all stuck to my face. Okay, so those were the Instagram questions. Um, let, let's move on over to YouTube to see what you guys asked me because I did ask you on there too. And let's see how many we have. All right, so this is how it looks after I cleaned it up. The next step is to um, go back, add some more of the got to be spray and hit it with the blow dryer. Okay, now that I've gotten it a little bit more tacky around there, I can kind of mold some baby hairs. Um, I don't want to do too much because if it turns white, then I'm going to have to do it again. So I just want to kind of you know, kind of mold them or just get the hairs in place. So it's looking gorgeous already. I'm gonna go ahead and tie it up with this satin little scarf that they gave me, which is gonna come in so much handy. Um, it is really slippery because it is satin. So let me get this on. Okay, and you wanna tie this really tight. I like to bring mine around the front. It's just easier that way. Okay, y'all, so look at the hair though. The hair is looking so pretty. I'm not gonna even have to do anything to this, yes. Okay, anyway, let's get to the questions on YouTube while we're letting this dry. So the next question is, how do you stay so polished no matter the occasion? Um, polished. My style has always been casual yet dressed up. So I've always been a jeans and heels type of girl. And now that I'm older, I honestly just wear the things that I like. I don't care about the occasion. Of course, I want to be appropriate, but I don't worry about being overdressed, okay? Because I'm just gonna do me. And anybody else, they can do them. But um, I like to make sure that, you know, I'm picking pieces that I feel the most confident in. And once, once you feel confident in your items um, that you wear, people will see that. So I always like to do like a jean, nice top and heels. That's the safest thing. I can wear that to the movies. I can wear that um, to the mall. I can wear it to dinner or whatever have you. Um, when it comes to going to like fancier places, of course I'll amp it up a little bit or places that I'm not sure what the vibe is going to be like. I may give like an even dressier top or throw on a blazer or something like that, but I may do a jean as well. So anything that's going to kind of 
give me the balance. I think it's always safe. Um, blazers and jeans, blazers and shorts, you know, um, dresses and sneakers or whatever, you know, the occasion calls for. I give it a nice balance so that I'm always appropriate in my opinion, but you know, other people may feel differently. Okay, so next question is, hey Brittany, can you talk about life as a homeowner and how has it been going? Are the renovation costs insane? I'm buying this fall. I know it's going to be a fixer upper to an extent and potential renovation costs have me shook. Um, also, please do a bra video when you have a chance. Okay, yes, I guess I do need to do a bra video, but I only wear one bra. <laughs> so, well, not one bra, but one brand of a bra. Maybe two. So anyway, um, as far as being a... Why? I don't know what they're doing out there, but it's too much. Um, as far as being a homeowner, it's been great. Um, I've been lucky, I guess, and blessed because I haven't had many issues at all um, come up. And it'll be, um, it'll be a year that I've lived here in September, but I closed back in July. So um, yeah, I've had a great experience thus far. Um, the renovation costs, I saved to do all of those things and plus I had help. My dad has kind of like a construction business so um, he had, you know, people to come in and kind of help me with my flooring and things like that. And I purchased a lot of things on sale like my flooring I got for an amazing deal. I talked about that in like my testimony video. Um, cabinets, I wasn't happy with those, but I threw a coat of paint over those. Well, I didn't, but the guys did, and they look amazing. Um, the only thing that I really have not done is replace my stove, dishwasher, refrigerator, and countertops, um, but that's just because they all work just fine, and they're white, and I love a white kitchen, so I'm not in a hurry, but of course, stainless steel will be ideal, and of course, I want like quartz countertops, and let me just be honest with you. After purchasing my home, I got the buying bug so I purchased in a high market and I do want to sell sooner than later I'm not saying that it's gonna be this year or anything but I have been kind of looking around but of course I want to build up my equity and just make sure that I have a good return on my investment um, or maybe rent out but it just really depends on how the real estate market is going within the next year or so next question is I want to know how you pose to make yourself look so skinny all the time <laughs> I don't know if you're joking girl, but I know I don't look skinny, but um, I'm not a I'm not a model Okay, so the main thing that I like to do is let whoever's taking the photos of me just snap and I kind of just move in slight little, little variants, you know and After what 80 photos have been taken I just go through and choose the ones that I look the best in a lot of the times if you notice a lot of my photos are kind of like me looking away because they're off guard and I feel like the off guards come out the best um, even though you know we put so much thought into photos but honestly the ones you choose are always usually the off guard so that's what I do next question is Brittany you are always classy and beautiful can you share a little more on how you stay motivated to keep your weight off and any tips on how voluptuous women can be confident at any size thanks um so keeping my weight off has been a struggle for me. I guess on the outside looking, I'm so sorry for the noise, you guys. This is so annoying. I don't understand. I'm getting annoyed. Um, as far as, you know, from the outside looking in, you guys probably think that I am just like keeping my weight off so well, but I've gained 20 to almost 30 pounds at this point, but I've lost like 10. So. It's been a, it's been kind of difficult because I think my habits have the habits that help me lose weight are now the habits that are hindering me from losing more weight because my body is accustomed to them. So I eat in portion. I you know I use portion control, um, and I intermittent fast kind of not on purpose, but it's just kind of how I do it. Like I stop eating around nine or so, and then I don't start eating again to the next day at about one o'clock. Um, lately I've been incorporating smoothies into my daily routine. I do feel like it's made me feel better and it's kept, kept some of the weight off from my smoothie cleanse, but I don't know that I've been keeping the weight off so much. I guess I'm just more cognizant of the things that I throw into my mouth and I'm just not eating any and everything. I try to fight my cravings. That doesn't mean that I don't give in, but I think when you have the mindset that 
when you just think about your food because before when I was like much larger I didn't even think about food like that everyone around me ate normally and they weren't overweight so I never thought about oh this is you know gonna make me fatter I mean of course you think about healthy things you know and having like all the food groups but I never thought about food in that way and now I'm very conscious of it um, when I eat so I guess that's how and how do I stay motivated or you know have confidence um, confidence was instilled in me at a young age it was never about my looks or my appearance um, it was just always about who I was and what I could offer I know that I'm smart I know that I'm caring I know that I'm generous um, and those are the things that I'm proud of it's not necessarily look of course I'm on YouTube so it does seem like you know looks are everything but they're so not um, there are so many things that I care way more about than looks but of course when you come on camera and you're facing thousands and thousands of people you want to make sure you look your best and that's the way that you feel your best and you're able to perform so today I was like mm, I don't feel like doing any makeup but I knew that if I got myself cute that I would be a little bit more into the video so um, but yeah confidence comes from who you are and not how you look um, that does not mean that you don't struggle with how you look or the things that you don't like but you know you can do some you can do something about that but the people who just look at your outer appearance and they judge you for that you don't need them you don't need them so you need to tune out the noise and focus all right next question is oh she has a lot the next question is who's someone that you look up to um it's funny because I don't look up to like a lot of people that I don't know the people who I look up to are the people who are around me on a daily basis women who are like owning their own businesses and um you know balancing life with fun family travel work all of that that's what I admire um, when it comes to women and of course just a hustler you know anyone who has the the mentality to go out and get what they want and don't stop and just grind I look up to that because honestly I love things and I'm a hard worker but I don't have the hustle in me um, it's not it doesn't come naturally so I have to make myself hustle for the things that I want and I do the work, you know? The next question is how do you stay motivated? And that's a loaded question because today and for the past maybe month, I've been feeling a little less motivated um, due to just wanting to grow but not feeling like my growth is what I think it should be. But I have to remind myself to put in the work. If you do not do the work, you're not going to get the result that you need and a lot of people get stuck on feeling down about what what's not happening for them and they stop doing the work but let me just tell you if you're not doing the work how will you see any type of growth so no matter what's going on around you as long as you're doing the work it's gonna come it's gonna come what's for you is for you I have to remind myself of that daily um, because I feel like I pour into a lot of people um, I give advice and not to get anything in return however there's a lot of people that's come after me that I've helped and they've grown and I've been in this position for a while but that does not mean that I have not grown it just may not be in the areas that I want to grow you know so um, you just have to keep reminding yourself that it's important to do the work and what's for you is for you and another question she had was what is your favorite food that you cannot say no to um i would have to say hot wings probably in hot cheetos i love wings that's like my favorite food ever i can eat it every single day now seafood like i eat seafood about three times a week and i'm talking about like crab legs mussels um you know like the seafood boil type stuff but before it was always chicken wings and hot cheetos and i just can't say no to those next question is any plans to do a home tour um you guys ask me this i mean i'm serious every single video every single instagram post every single day and you guys i wanted to give y'all a home tour and that doesn't mean that i'm not going to however the three times that i've tried i've had an issue the first time um the camera footage it disappeared i literally had me walking through the door and that was it um the other two times the camera went black i don't know what's going on with that um so i feel like there's been some technical difficulties that may be just telling me you know hold off a little bit um for whatever reason i just take it as a sign i'm a sign type of girl so 
and my house is not really completely finished just to be honest I know you guys see my living room um, most of the time and it seems finished but when you're a homeowner you move things around so often you guys that you just never know so let me go ahead and start taking this off because I'm rambling um, well, not really rambling, but the video is getting long. Um, but yeah, I do want to do a home tour for you guys. And I'm probably going to just do it, you know, like room by room. I think that'll be easiest. See, when you take that off, you're going to get that white and it's so annoying. So you have to go back through <laughs> with your Q-tip. Clean it up again. Let's get another question in. Have you had to cut back on spending or adjust your budget since owning a new home? Um, honestly, I'm going to be real with y'all. I've honestly been able to spend more money and that's all God because when I purchased my home, I knew I wanted to do it, but I'm not going to say that I prepared the most that I probably could have looking in hindsight, of course. Um, but I prayed on it. I said, Lord, if this is for me. I ask that you make a way and double my income so that I don't have to worry about it. And my income has literally been doubled. Um, so I haven't had to cut back on spending. I need to. Um, but right now it's like <laughs> one shoulder is like YOLO. The other shoulder is like, girl, prepare, prepare, prepare. And of course I save um, and things like that. And all my bills are paid on time. So we don't have those kind of issues. But I need to be saving for like years down the line, you know, like retirement because we ain't gonna have no social security by the time I get old. So yeah, um, God has really blessed me throughout the whole process of owning my own home and I'm so grateful. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's been good. Oh, y'all look at this. Brown skin girl. Yes. This is good. I'm done. For real? Like, am I not done? Am I not done? Let's do like a little bit of baby hair and answer the rest of these questions. But I think I'm done, y'all. This hair is so beautiful. First of all, no tangling. Look at this. Look at this. Hands just going through it. The curls are beautiful. They're like loose waves. This is so pretty, y'all. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it, and it didn't take anything. It didn't take anything. Like, I didn't put water on it. I didn't put anything. This is right out the package. Um, let's see. What's the must-have bag and brand a girl should own? <sighs> That's difficult. I would say, I mean, I feel like for as long as I've been alive, Chanel has been a classic and it's not going anywhere. So if you're talking about designer, then yeah, I would go with a Chanel. I don't think you can go wrong with that. Um, yeah, I would say a Chanel. Right now, Dior is major. And I feel like Dior has very classic silhouettes as well. Um, but you know, they are like really popping right now. So before they weren't always popping, but people still wore them. And um, you know, they have gorgeous bags. That's really my next bag. I really want a Dior so bad. So yeah, that's what I would say. I would say a Chanel for sure. I think that's like a no brainer, but it really just depends on your style because not everyone has that like classic style and I don't either really, but I have, the older I've gotten, the more I have gravitated towards classier styles, but I also just like to mix it up and add that just exposition, um, with my clothing or, you know, just add like a little bit of edge to every look. If I don't want it to be too classy to where I look old and matronly, you know? So, yeah. I don't like a lot of baby hair, y'all, but this is another way to like camouflage that hairline and the white. So I'm just putting a little bit down like on the edge, on the sides. And over time, it'll get a little bit softer and kind of just lay the way you want it to. But so far, this is what we have. It's gorgeous. The only thing I probably need to do is add like a little bit of foundation around the edge. 
but I'm not gonna do that right now honestly I'm just I'm obsessed look at this up oh my goodness y'all so cute right oh it's so good I'm obsessed with this hair oh my goodness and I didn't have to make it myself usually to get like this kind of good wave you have to make the unit yourself because it's not like thick enough this is perfect I'll leave all the specs um to this unit in the description box because I don't know it um I think it's 22 or 24 inches so yeah brown lace of course small cap I always get a small cap um but as far as like the density I believe it's 180 density gorgeous 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 let me finish up these questions real quick what city and state do you live in I live in Nashville Tennessee and what is your dream vacation destination so I have a few on my list for the near future and then I have some on my list overall so the near future I want to go to Paris and I want to go to Greece um, overall I want to go to um, Tokyo I want to go to Africa I don't know what part yet um, probably South Africa maybe um, I also want to go to Tahiti um, Bali yeah so I really want to get into travel and I'm gonna make that um, a priority for me within the, the next year um, and not purchase so many like luxury goods I'm gonna start experiencing some things so that's next on my list hey y'all so next up we have a few questions from the same person do you have multiple streams of income yes I do and I highly recommend you do too um in this day and age it's just really difficult to live the life that we want with one job especially like a corporate job now if you own your own business you know that's different but different streams of income is the best way you know to to live these days just to be honest I I can't do it without like I have to I always have to have money coming in um next how is it like running a side business any tips um one thing I will say about running your own business I have an online clothing store called newnoir.com um check it out if you haven't um, you're working 24 seven. Okay. Monday to Monday, you're working 24 hours a day. Um, I don't get any days off, um, whether it's uploading content because it's just me. I have like an assistant, but whether it's uploading content to the website, whether it is answering customer service questions or, you know, sourcing different items to put on the website. I'm constantly, constantly working um, and my brain is never shut off from it. Also, YouTube is considered a business as well and influencing. So I'm working on that all the time as well, whether, you know, you guys just see the end result of the content, but there's prep work that goes into making videos, into Instagram posts, um, hiring photographers and things like that. So it is a rewarding job because I love the outcome, but it's definitely, um, it can be draining and it is a lot of work. Also, the tips for running a side business, I would just say get help. Um, you can't do everything on your own. I'm preaching to myself. I like to do everything on my own because I'm extremely particular and I read. I really hate repeating myself is the worst so um, get help if you can um, don't try to do everything on your own you will get overwhelmed also make sure you stay as organized as possible spreadsheets um, you know calendars um, notepad whatever you need to stay organized do that and make sure you pay your taxes next question is how hard has it been maintaining and keeping the weight off during the past two to four years tumble a follower from way back girl you are an og um it's been difficult i won't say that i guess it could have been harder but again like i said i've put on weight um and it's just hard to get that off now maintaining my weight i guess i've done okay with it um but just losing additional weight has been extremely hard um i'm kind of trained now to eat decently i won't say properly decently um i know how to like kind of train myself to eat okay throughout the week and then on the weekends i kind of splurge um so that's kind of been my method don't go all the way in kind of save your fun days for the weekend at least you know five days out of the week you've done well you know and working out would be ideal but i don't do that because i'm lazy it's sad and i need to get back into it 
Next question is, we want to know about the special person in your life, how's dating life? Um, <laughs> I do have a boyfriend uh, and I don't get too much into my personal life, but it's nothing to hide. It's just, you know, that's just my personality. But I have a boyfriend. We've been together almost a year now. He is five years younger than me, maybe four. He'll say four. I say five. Uh, he's five years younger than me. Um, he's great. He is... He comes from a great family. He treats me exceptionally well. Um, we have issues because of the age difference sometimes. But overall, he's great. And dating has been amazing. It's good to have someone who feels like you deserve to be dated, even while y'all are in a relationship. Um, it's good to have a man that feels like, you know, he, he takes pride in being a gentleman, whether it's paying for dates, whether it's opening doors, whether it's just being there, you know, he takes pride in that. I'm not saying he does it every every single time, but he does pay for these dates most of the time. But doors and stuff like that, you know, he does that on a regular basis. However, a man who takes pride in that is a man who's always going to put his best foot forward when it comes to you. And he's he's really into me. So, yeah, it's been good. So oh, last question y'all, who are your favorite YouTubers to watch? Do you have any hobbies or interests outside of what you show us on YouTube? Okay, so my favorite YouTubers to watch is Tony Sev Dallas, uh, Janae over at High Low Lux. Um, I like Claire, I forget her last name, but she's in the UK. Um, I like the Pint Size Twins, I like the Scorpion Show. I love watching Be Loves Life, her and Darius are hilarious. Um, who else do I like to watch? I've recently been into watching anything that helps me grow or helps me learn. Currently always educating myself. So any YouTube videos that's gonna show me better lighting or better equipment to use or you know how to grow on Instagram, all of that. Uh, Janae told me about that and I've been doing that ever since and it's really helped me a lot because before, honestly, I was just doing my own thing. You know what I'm saying? Just making video vi videos for you guys, but I told y'all she asked me a question what is your goal and I didn't have one so I had to check myself <laughs> but yeah I've been loving learning um, more information and you also asked me do I have any other hobbies or interests outside of what I show you guys on YouTube and I love home decor I've showed you guys a little bit but I know y'all are waiting I know y'all are waiting I, I know but I love home decor I'm obsessed with that I am obsessed with home decor like picking out things, paint colors down to flooring, all of that. I'm into it all. Um, other interests, um, people may not know, y'all probably do, but I am a Christian. I read the word, you know what I'm saying? So um, that is another, I guess, hobby or interest that you may not know about. Also, of course, you know, I speak about fashion all the time on my channel, but I love studying fashion. Um, I've always been like that. And I don't really talk about that too much on my channel, but I usually know like a lot of backstory to certain things. I don't know why I'm just into that. And another thing I like to do is to find things like I can see something on Instagram. I promise you I'm going to find it. OK, or if you tell me about like a shirt that you've seen, I'll probably find it in like five seconds. I am a detective. That's just me. <laughs> I just love, love looking for stuff. I don't know what it is. I just like shopping, period. Maybe that's the problem. But yeah, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit more about me. And also, I hope you are loving this hair as much as I am. When I tell you it was so easy, as you guys saw, I mean, it took forever because we answered questions here, but this didn't take any time to like do this. I took it out the package and I applied it essentially. So the hair is gorgeous. I'll make sure to link everything in the description box, the direct link along with all the specs for this hair. You need it, okay? Um, it's, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have not already, I don't know what you're waiting for. Follow me on Instagram over at Pockets and Bows and I will talk to you on my next video. Bye.